Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Colonel Park number 23. We're going to be finishing up the Dirt Tour Hadeldora. I said I wouldn't really do the dirt stuff anymore, but since this is the last time I'll be doing it, uh, might, might as well just kind of show it off. So I don't think it'll be very interesting, but you know, it'll be something. So we got all everything like, ready to go for work plans and stuff for all of the things like usual. Again, at this point, we don't really need any more money to put in the dirt series. Again, just big question how is just for next season how much can we put into the truck when we start our own team because we have a, almost a million dollars i would imagine we'd have to have at least 90 everything across the board at this rate so actually i should change my settings because i don't have them set to where they would i just normally have the stages off for it so there we go okay we're good now let's get into everything and try to win i guess i don't know i just i think we'll win i'm fairly confident so like usual, this car is just disgusting. <laughs> the speed and everything it has to it is just absolutely sickening. So come across the line with a 15-1. We actually got our goal time, and we're third. So we'll end our dirt career with never getting a pole. <laughs> How fitting. But yeah, we're, we're going to be good. I got my music on standby. I'm actually going to listen to Queen this time. So I think by the time I finish up the Passing the Open Window song, I can probably finish up the dirt race. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till I get the lead, then pause and turn the music on and do all that stuff. So that that's the plan. So final four, I don't even remember. I know Leslie Gomez and Stewart are up there. I don't know the person beside me. No, it's not. Okay. Get to turn one, and we're good. I'll see you field, and here comes their championship. My flag, and nothing's happened since I took the lead within the first corner of the first lap. Laps up to fourth, so that's pretty insane. But yeah, it's... Well, I'll, I'll gladly take two for two in the championship for dirt. Mm. I don't even know what... That was that was sickening, like, like always. I, good lord. Well, we'll see how much money we earned. 25000 plus $400 of merch, not bad. And 27000 I think that puts us close to over a million dollars in our bank account. Hooray. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yep, over a million. Damn. And we only get 11 fans from that dirt race. What the f Oh my god. <laughs> I guess everybody's just stuck of us. Modern, how do we still get modern driving? Not perfect. I guess I nicked somebody passing them when they're a lap town. That's my only assumption. But we get another 12000 for the sensitive contracts. So that's pretty cool. Wins the second extreme director championship. Nico Robbins huge fan base celebrates all day long. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's I'm I'm happy. That that's that's it's good stuff. Now we just gotta get into the truck race and all that usual stuff. Yeah everybody's just complimenting me on the, the tweets, Twitters or whatever. But yeah. So that's over with. Now we just have to worry about truck races from here on out, so that's nice. So it's at Vegas. We kind of got lucky in our last Vegas endeavor. So I don't really think we'll win unless we get lucky with the cautions. But with the... I think with the tire wear that I have it now, I don't think it'll be a problem. So, I don't know. But either way, we'll save our settings. And we'll just simply... Uh, I would say go right into qualifying. But I definitely want to show the points. Because that's kind of important. Because this is the, the cutoff race. Or it should... Or is it? Or not? Or... Uh, yeah, okay, it is. Okay, it is, yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, a lot to, lot to digest. So, all of a sudden, Ross Chastain is 10 points out of the cut line. Harrison Byrne and Todd Gilland are in. And Clay Greenfield is somehow there, too. And he could somehow win. You never know, but it's weird. A weird truck season. But we'll go right into it. Try to win. Or try to do good. Try our best. That, that's, what, that's, that's the key of it all. Through three and four, I, I don't know what it is with Vegas. The AI are just really, really competitive here. I don't think we're gonna get even a top ten. Thirty-one nine. And our goal's like fourteenth. Eh, okay, well, that was right. Not top ten, but maybe we'll be thirteenth if somebody gets put in the back. And oh, Harrison Burton first. Ross Chastain ninth, and needs to be ahead of Matt Crafton by at least ten points. So it's between Crafton and Chastain to make it to the next round. Clay Greenfield, unless he magically wins starting from 28th, I don't think he's going to do it. So, Yeah, well, we'll just have to see. So our slider is at 8, or 8 clicks to the right. 
And we're 13, so that's actually perfect. Thank you, universe. So, who got put to the back? Clay Greenfield remembers me. Oh my god, Ross Chastain got an unapproved body modification and is in the back. That is some big time championship implications. Rip. Absolutely ripped to poor Chastain. Well, I think Crafton just moved on to the next round, pretty much, unless he blows up or something. But yeah, here we go. So Vegas, it's a fun track. It's, it's usually fun to race on these games for some reason. But yeah, we actually got a really good launch at the start. And with six laps, I don't think it's enough uh, time in the stage to have the AI tires really burn off and just gain a lot of time. So we're going to have to try to gain a lot of spots. And we pretty much did that in that first lap, 13th to 5th. I'm just going to keep the truck to the bottom, just try to stay in the draft. Pretty much just put ourselves in position. I think if we have at least a top five stage finish here, we could definitely get to lead in stage two, lead two laps, fall back to like fourth again, and the cycle will repeat. So, it again, long runs are our best friend with these settings I have. And there goes Moffitt. Oh, sorry. And it looks like we might stall out right around fourth to fifth maybe that's 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 the vibe i'm getting at right now oh god damn crafting's on it <laughs> good lord just drove right through me and he gained two spots on that corner what a craft it's a badass this race good god he really wants to make the chase thing next round or something i don't know i'm too old for this shit well crafting's gonna win stage one He's on it today. I, I don't even know what to say. He just absolutely is coming in clutch. I, it's incredible. It's honestly incredible. And he drove right through me and just went to first. I, I have no words. It, it was just it was amazing. And poor... Actually, some people are staying out, but we're going to pit. We're going to play it safe. We need tires. But then again, this is actually kind of perfect. Because then there are going to be people that are on old tires staying out. And, oh my god, we can cheese it. I, I can I can feel like a good chance to cheese a lot of points and maybe even a stage win. So I don't know. Maybe Chastain's up there? I I don't know. I know Benjamin is because Benjamin always sucks. He's my teammate too. I for, I keep forgetting that Chastain's my teammate. My team I'm I'm like carrying the entire motorsport team with me. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah, we're fast. Just gotta take our time through here not do that either and I think that's I'm almost certain it's Kyle Benjamin here actually thinking about it with them not hitting there will they even be able to make it on fuel is the question it's seven laps that's right around their fuel window I think they might just screw themselves that's Brett Moffitt up there huh okay I guess he stayed out but it's not really going to matter. Again, those other faster trucks are stuck behind the slower ones, so that gives us a nice buffer, and we'll take the lead. I'll see you later, and now we'll also see two if they pit. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling in my brain that there was going to be a wreck because they were staying out for way too long on worn tires. Probably one of them blew a tire. Clay Greenfield got seventh and actually got stage points. Damn. Well, Chastain's going to have to low-key win to make it, but, well, we got 12 laps of, uh, we're going to up the wedge just a little bit, just half round up, because it is pretty damn loose, so we'll that, try to minimize that issue. And now we have like 21 laps to go, which I believe should be only a, a one-stopper from here. So, we'll get a good restart, probably lead like two laps, and then fall back. Like usual, it's, it's usually that's kind of the case when we have the lead. So, what what lap do you think I'll lose the lead on? I'm, I'm gonna say lap 19, maybe lap 20, but no later than lap 20. Who had their bets on lap 20? Because that's pretty much what's what's gonna happen. Also, I was looking at my leaderboard. Clay Greenfield is up there in the top five. Why? Oh, he's my rival. Oh my god. Why? Why is he fast? The driver that literally started 28th, well, I mean, it's, I guess he's helping me, but 
This is, this is, this is just stupid. I guess it's helping me. I don't know. But we're gonna drop back and I'm trying to not die from the port. Why? Why is he fast? Like, it's just random. Now he's gonna send me a message about me being a bad driver when he's like completely brought into me. Go, go have him. Go win the stage. Go win the er, stage. Go win the race. Prove me wrong. Make it to the next round. There we go. Starting to kind of get our momentum back here. And it does seem like the tire work thing is starting to be a factor for everybody now. And trying to hang on. This thing is very edgy. And we're really close to blowing out the right front. But at this rate, we could run it down as much as or as low as we can, and we could probably make it on fuel. Clay Greenfield. Don't tell me the rival system hasn't improved at all, because that that felt a lot like NASCAR Heat 3 right there, and that's that's usually not ideal. But it seems like okay. Well, do I really need? Do I need to make a, a, a freaking Clay Greenfield counter now? Like, is that is that what we're gonna have to do? I get it. You're mad. We'll make better videos. That that's all. You have to just change your set of vertical due to landscape or whatever. Or whatever, I don't know, whatever. The, the way so you don't see the, the, the black bars on the side. That That's all I'm asking for. And and maybe be a human being and, and emote, have have emotions. That would work too. But yeah, we're going to pit this lap. We, I think everybody should be able to make it on fuel and tires, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, we'll just, you know, head down the pit road. Please don't kill me, Clay. Thank you. Alright, 45. Perfect. All right, well, we're just gonna just keep. He is so petty. He's still he's hitting me under pit road. Like what? What a loser! Clay Greenfield's a loser. I'm glad that he has kids and his kids know, or that they should know, that his dad's a loser. Can't even have a drink. Can't even have a drink, and then caution comes out. Then again, it's kind of perfect timing because we'll get the lead here. And a couple of the slower trucks will be in the front, I think. This might be a good thing. I I don't know. Well, we'll see how this plays out. This has just gotten weird. Now Clay Greenfield's third. We're not gonna have short we're not gonna have short runs. Clay Greenfield can low-key win this race and move on to the next race, shouldn't he? That could seriously happen. It's I didn't even repair the damage, but you know, it's okay. We got six to go. I mean, we—that's the thing. Like we're—we're we're not even good for six laps, so it's not even gonna matter. Oh no, Clay Greenfield's gonna win this race. Are you? Sh I'm, I'm calling it. He's—he's he's gonna win it. He's gonna catch up to me, run me over, and win the race. And he's gonna complain that I'm being a bad driver. Well, Tyler Dipple and Clay have pretty much caught up to me. That's just the, just the thing. We're just not good in the short run. We just It's just not enough time. So we'll just try to defend as best as we can. I'm amazed. Clay Greenfield is low-key trying to, like... Anthony... <laughs> no, not Anthony Brown. No. D the Anthony Elf... Whoever was in the Dirt series that was in the... Never mind. Then he's starting third. Oh, no. he He's starting third. He's going to run in... <laughs> This might be good because we got more wear on the tires and we're good in the long run, so this might be actually a blessing in disguise. Tyler Ankrum, wow. Um, this has been kind of a shit show from the AI. But yeah, two to go. Overtime. We get a good restart. I think we'll be good. Again, we kind of didn't have the best truck at all. We just kind of got lucky, lucky, what? <laughs> lucky with cautions. And I think that, I mean. That might be it. We might just cruise to a win very easily here. Here we go, white flag. Clay Greenfield with a run of a lifetime in second place. I don't know how he managed to get this far, but unfortunately, he's going to get passed by Brett Moffitt. So that makes me feel good. I'm glad that I'm the one that's going to win, and well, I already advanced, but I just completely destroyed his chances of making it. So that makes me feel good. In a lot of different psychological ways. But off turn four, we definitely did not have the best truck, but just lucky cautions coming out the right time. We'll get another win. I'll take it. That was that was some good shit. I like that. 
Once again, I have no clue what brought out the yellows. I also oh, the this one for lap 38. They, they didn't show that. So it almost feels like the replays are more random than last year. It's like you might see a caution, but this year, like I very rarely have ever seen why a yellow would come out, which is really I'm unfortunate because I know a lot of people, including myself, want to see caution replays, and this is really the only instance we can get of it. And there's just nothing. <laughs> like, there's just just nothing, and it's it's sad. Here's our finishing results. I, I, <laughs> I have no words. I, Clay Greenfield tried his damnness to try to cheese a chase playoff round spot. But Crafton ultimately did get it. And Chastain is just nowhere to be found. I mean, this is just sad. Natalie Decker outran him. What the fuck? I, I don't know. But, yeah, that was, it was a pretty damn good race in terms of earnings and all the payouts and stuff. And, and there's our next round. Uh, people were good by a stupid margin. Ross Chastain and Clay Greenfoot out. Uh, definitely two names I didn't think I would say that are eliminated but in the first round. But yeah, I, I could say I didn't, didn't see that coming whatsoever. Especially Clay Greenfield. He got pretty damn... I, well, first of all, I didn't think he would make it. Two, I didn't think he would damn near win this race. Yep, thank you. 1.051 I can't I can't math apparently what's wrong with me but yeah we have 175 extra fans over nine it literally over 9,000 damn that's a meme from like 10 plus years ago now oh no uh, Clay Greenfield has a lot of videos <laughs> all right all right well Anthony Alfredo has something nice to say I would imagine Nice job advancing to the next round of the playoffs. Keep working hard and make the next one. Thank you. That was nice to you. He, he, Anthony Alfredo's nice to me. Oh no, I, I'm... T oh, what is it going to be this time? Congratulations on making the next round of the playoffs. It doesn't get any easier from here. Stay focused. Yeah, you're, you're one to talk. He tried so hard to run me over in every... All because I trashed his videos. Like, he's such a freaking... He's like the opposite of a keyboard warrior. Because he takes his actions out on the track. Dude, we'll, we'll keep insulting him. Like, we, can we have an achievement for, like, a rival beyond a rival? Because, I mean, he's so red, I, I, get, I can barely read the word rival anymore. With the way you've been racing me, next race you're gonna be in the wall. Count on it. Yeah, right. I mean, he was right. He's he's right. I mean, I that's exactly it. But oh, <laughs> this is the, the rivalry of the century right now. Me and a random nobody. That's that should probably die. Video game land, not real life, but video game land. Yes, we'll keep provoking him. <laughs> I didn't even race him bad at all. He's the one that's killing me. Yeah, you know, like it's, eat shit. I, what a what a waste of of just. I, oh god, I just, okay. There we go. All right, well, on to Talladega, and since it's Dega, we're gonna put that uh, drafting enable thing on, just for the stricter play tracks. Just I think that's fair. So, where is that now? Is that under driving? Uh oh, oh yeah okay all right well. Other than that, let's get into it. Try not to get last in qualifying. My dumbass brain just now realized he he sent me a video message complimenting me that I advanced to the next round. Then he immediately trashed me. What? <laughs> what is going on? I even think Clay knows what's going on. Well, this lap certainly should be a little bit better than the first one, but probably not by much. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a little bit better. Still last. Why did I even bother? That's like three to four minutes. I'm not going to get back of my time. So that's a shame. And we were, oh my good lord, three tenths off of last. I mean, I'm sure we'll be good in race trim. Clay Greenfield tenth. I I really I'm starting to despise him so much more, and I really should. But goddamn. All right. Well, we're 31st, so we're not last. Somebody got put to the back. I wonder who that could be. Matt Crafton is well prepared. Corbin. Forrester. For, for, what? 
Foster. Oh, it's fostering. I thought it was a Corbin Forrester Foster joke. <laughs> I thought it was a, like, a, like a dad joke or something. I don't know. I got confused. Okay, well, I don't know who got put to the back. It's... Okay, I guess Joe Nemechek. I don't, I don't know. I mean, green flag's out, obviously. Well, I don't know how many laps we'll have in the stage, but I don't think the first two stages we have to worry about pitting. It's four laps, seven... We might have to pit. I'm not sure. But we should be good. Like, as far as our speed is concerned, we've already are you know, gaining spots up through the field. Just going to try to take it easy here. Oh, well, I mean, that's not really taking it easy. Dylan Love, what is this inside line doing? Good lord. That was terrible. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Joe Check That's nice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Though his, his son did acknowledge my existence on Twitter like five years ago. When I made it in every win Joe Nemechek video. So that was cool. So, uh, we're moving up to, I mean, he's still working with me. That's pretty badass. Look at us go. Well, damn. All right, we, we may just get ourselves some stage points after all. Not, not like it, well, what the fuck was that with Ben Rhodes up there? But yeah, it looks like we might get some stage points after all. He's going to keep the truck to the bottom. And I think Joe Nemechek's still back there behind me. What a badass. Good, go, go Joe Nemechek. No, wait, no, I'm, I'm far away. Well, it was fun while it lasted for him. Uh, it's, it might get, I'm, I don't know. It might get to the inside. Look, Dylan Lofton, he, he just said go. He just let me have it. I appreciate it. Play like Greenfield's falling back. That's great. It's on the outside, though. He might door me. Because, you know, it's good to get retaliation at, for someone at Talladega. It's a good idea. I mean, Edwards thought it was a good idea at Atlanta. People tend to forget about that, that Edwards is had a really bad streak of being a, a dumbass and a dickhead. Yeah, I said it. Revisionist history can change a lot of opinions. Like when Dale Earnhardt died, everybody like, hated him when he was alive. But once he died, everybody liked him. Revisionist history. Lesson learned, ladies and gentlemen. Is this going to get downvoted now? I feel like it might because I just said probably two insanely oh wait no what, what was that I, okay i will i'm sorry i'll, I'll give him i'll give him that I'm, I'm, okay what thank god the ping pong doesn't kill me because i don't want to flip into the fans because clay greenfield's a dumbass but yeah well we might get stage I, like i've been saying oh no well, i mean it's not even a bump it doesn't it did say it wasn't a bump trap so well even though he's my rival oh well, thank you awesome help it's nice you Oh God, I, I get it, you're mad. Like, it, do I even need to turn in the corner? I get it, you're mad. Like, it's the best satisfaction that him hitting me does nothing to me. That That's a good feeling. But at the same time, I am losing a lot of time because we're inadvertently side drafting. I get, like, what is this? What is this? Do I, am I not? <laughs> Stop! I get it! You're mad! Like, it, do we need a counter for this now? Like, I don't want to bring the counter back, but I feel like the counter needs to come back. He's gonna... <laughs> well, good. Good. You got the spot. Are you happy? Did, did, did you, do you feel like a man now because you you ran into me off the off the track? I hope you feel good about yourself. You probably couldn't sleep all goddamn week until he had to do that shit to me. gained a spot. So we're 16. Not ideal because now we're going to be on the uh, outside line. But I do want to get to the inside line right away and try not to have Blade Greenfield kill me. And it does seem like we have a good truck. We just <laughs> can't get run the fuck over. That's all I want. So this should be a four lap stage again. And yeah, a pretty good start. We're going to move our way from the field it looks like inside line's actually going this never mind it was going for about a second and then kind of stopped i don't know what that was but that's pretty illegal <laughs> not gonna lie bro oh, wait wait no clay greenfield friend yay that actually that's actually good good uh, uh, okay never mind 
Never mind. Oh my god, my friend Joni Macek. We were basically last. <laughs> last row, shotgun of the field, and now we are working together to get up to the top ten. Joe Nemechek is the man. That's so nice of him. I, I have no, like, this is beautiful. Thank you. I think he might stay the inside still. Maybe gain any spots. I hope so. I'm not totally sure. Well, thank you, Johnny Sauter. I appreciate that. He's kind of let me have it. It's nice. And there we go. Get to the inside of Harrison Burton. A little bit of side draft. And there we're looking good. For stage points, at least. We're just up here with this main pack of trucks. Doing pretty good. It definitely has a very nice speed. For a default, that's literally a 5. Pretty pretty good speed. Does make me wonder like what the what this truck will be capable of when we go to Daytona with our own team. Because it still it still should be pretty good with the draft and everything. But it will be interesting. But I don't really have help. We are side drafting a lot. Uh I know Harrison Burton won't help me. Isn't that, it's, it's weird, like, literally, I think everybody in the field, I think, is friends with me, except for Clay Greenfield. <laughs> he's the only, well, it's like, he's like, the, he's like the, the only exception. And everybody else I've insulted periodically, when it was necessary. Whenever they talked about pool parties or a barbecue, like, no. No. Nico Rob doesn't do that. She only does it with her, her namaka. Well, I guess that's a whole other debate, depending on which time period of Robin that you you think or are imagining it's like pre one piece and sure if it's like after Annie's lobby then maybe that's not quite accurate then post time skip is totally different this it there's a lot there's a lot to go into I don't want to talk about that right now but I mean I could but we're gonna take the lead maybe I don't know Grant and is that Matt Crafton or Grant and Finger I don't know but this is is this a triple car tandem I don't know, but Gus Dean is gonna win a stage apparently. That's weird. Wow, that's this. I'm gonna lose the stage to Gus Dean. <laughs> who is, who are you? I I lost. A, I don't even know who you are, but I'll I'll take it. I'll take some stage points. Thank you very much. Thankfully, we're still second. I probably would have liked to actually lose a spot, so we're third on the inside line. But yeah, uh, set ourselves up uh, in a good position here. It certainly. It's weird to describe, like, it's easy to get through the field, but it's, it's like, it, it's hard at the same time. Like, it takes some skill? I don't know. So we got 11 to go, roughly, so we do have to take at least one green flag to stop if it even goes that far. I mean, who really knows? But, and we got the lead, and all we're going to have to really do from here on out is just block the lanes, which as long as they don't go three wide, that shouldn't be too much of a problem to do. I'm trying to block three lanes at what? Oh my god. It almost didn't work. That would have been ping pong death in heat three, so thank god. But that was that was terrifying. Now Mason Macy is back there. I don't know who you are either. I'll pit this lap. Again, it's still leading. It's just been a lot of just blocking the runs and thankfully they haven't been three wide back there too much until I just literally started talking right now. 
but yeah, we're gonna pit here. We're gonna go with, I, I really pro I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna go with four tires and fuel again. Tires are burning up pretty good, and I think that's still an issue where more, less tire wear is, less tire wear equals less speed. I don't know, I'm just trying to play it safe. So let's try to, I'm hoping that doesn't screw us. So, uh, that's my plan. Can I cheese it? Um, you know what? We're just gonna go with four tires. We're gonna go with right sides. So we'll try to take it easy here. Oh god, don't don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Da, da, still trying to wreck. Alright, that was very shoddy, but we got down there just fine. Uh, we'll put a full tank in there, right sides, and that should be good. I think the other AI driver is gonna do the same as well. We only have like five or four to go, so I don't think we need a I don't know. Well, I was at the wait and see. 10.7 on the rights. We're out in the way, and then okay, Dylan Lupton, I guess he did take right side tires as well. Or maybe no tires, I don't know, but. Yeah, look, they, everybody else did the same thing, so it was a smart call. Now, the problem is, I don't think we're going to have good outlap speed, so we're going to need somebody else to push me from behind. Because as of right now, Dylan Lupton could low-key just win the race, because he actually has a big lead. I don't even know. I don't know. This, this race got very strange. This plays out. Heck, you can hit, you can bump draft me. It's it's okay. The, Travis Quaffle wants... Oh, my... Of course Travis Quaffle wants to beat my ass. Uh, of course! How fitting! How fitting! Oh, let's start freezing. I, why? Why is what? Why is Ekis not wanting to help me? What did I ever do to him? I. That's. That's that's some shit. Well, Dylan Lupton's gone. <laughs> like he is absolutely checked out from all of us. That might have just. Wow, that is almost death with them merging like that. Good lord. Okay, we're good. That was. That was scary. Yay, Stuart Friesen, friend, push me, and that's a that's a three-card tango. Now Ekis wants to help. Well, that's funny. Well, now he's got to run down. Can we run down Dylan Lupton? All right, we got three to go. 2.3 seconds back. We're gaining. I'll catch you back around another lap and see how much we gain on him, which should be a lot because we actually are gaining on him. Maybe gained about eight tenths on him that lap, so... Quite literally, on the white flag is when we're going to catch him at this rate. That's kind of insane that it's taken us this long to catch him when we're literally three car tangling. That does not seem right. White flag's out, and we have pretty much caught up to him. We're only about half a second back, but still, Stir Friesen, you still need to push me. Like, I still need help. Dylan Lupton damn near is going to win this. Or I can't believe it worked out that well for him for that damn long. Good lord. All right, well, we got to run. Now we just got to make the pass, which I think we should. And to the inside, try to side draft them. And it's gonna, is it gonna work? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. All right, side by side. Why is this epic? Why is this that amazing right now? Well, side by side for the win between Millie and Tampa Lupton. Stuart Friesen, no, you've been my friend the whole race. No, no, what the? <laughs> God, no. Oh, why? I don't even know who won. Na whoever is it, whoever just threw that caution out. That's like the. Tw Remember the 2014 Daytona 500 where they threw the like the caution like right before Jail Jr. hit the line and it didn't really matter. That it's it's, it's like it's, that's it's like that kind of level of pointlessness when you're that close to the line. Who won it? I yeah, <laughs> that was the stupidest way to win that. I don't even know what the margin is. We're going to have to look at that off camera or on camera. I'll, I'll burn out. I'll, I'll definitely do a burnout for that. I, we damn near almost didn't win that race. Dylan Lupton, damn <laughs> freaking peanut man for Windbell's Daytona Heat 2 flew 50 feet in the air. Damn, almost won a restrictor play race on pit strategy because a three car tango barely caught him in like four laps. And he was like two and a half seconds in front of us. That's I don't know if that's sad or just or we're just that slow, but something about that just doesn't feel right. But I'll take a win. Feels a little feels a little dirty though. I wish I would have won that a little more better. But you know. we gotta look at the replay. We gotta see how close that 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 was. I don't even know how. We'll have to see. So I guess this is the yellow. I don't know. It's on lap twenty three, so I don't know if that's quite accurate. I mean, this is the only one that shows it. No, that's just okay. Well, that, okay, that can't be the L because that was just that wasn't anything bad. 
So when... I See, that's the thing. I don't know when the yellow came out. I guess I can look for, like, the caution lights to come on. Like, around the track. But, ah, went back to the... I don't know. I guess I can go to full replay and see that for myself. But where are the... Where, will I see the caution lights be on? That's the thing. Not sure. When will the caution lights be on? It's still green. Still green. Still green. Alright. Uh, that's when the yellow came out, I think. I saw that's He- wait, Dylan Lipton was in the lead. He- D Dylan Lipton was leading. What the- That's some shit right there. Can you imagine this happening in real life? But the caution lights were obviously on. Dylan Lofton's clearly in the lead, but it still gives me the win. That's oh boy. That's uh, that's some some, some shit right there. I I wish I didn't win in that way. That's that's kind of boiled. That's judging by that yellow, that light coming on. Unless it goes, oh, it does go by the last uh, uh, light zone thing, like before that, I think. So maybe I was leading before that. I. I don't know. It's like, I remember they made the, the caution rules where it's like, as soon as the caution comes out, that freezes the field. Now it's, well, the caution comes out, it freezes the field, but only freezes the field if the, the caution light, whatever the zone was before they hit the thing, that's where the position is. Like, why? Why is that? Oh my god. So that means, like, the replay footage isn't even, like, totally accurate when it caught. Fucking, why is this so complicated? Why? Why couldn't it just be when the caution comes out, it freezes the field, we look at the evidence. I don't know. I guess it's just too hard. Why is that in 2004 it was easier for them to do that compared to now when they had less to, of the technology than they do now? Comment section, I need a lot of help right now. But looking at this one more time, uh, yeah, if I look way out in the distance, there's like a pixel that changes from that caution from a green to yellow. Yeah, it's right about there. So clearly... He was leading. That's bullshit. I, I don't want to win a race like that. I hate that. That That's terrible. Again, I just wish it just went green. Because we were in the tri-oval. Oh, God. I don't know. That's that's unfortunate. But we get the win. That's, that, that's our first total finish of the season. Out of the career mode. Damn, I don't... So much wrong to, to go into from... I already explained it. Oh, my brain. Oh, my brain. Uh, it hurts. Well, I'm kind of, like, emotionally broken in different ways. At least it ended under... Free At least it ended when it should, so that's good. But, oh, man, that's just... Well, we got more money. I mean, we saw that for a split second as I just clicked through it. Uh, Nico Rum's getting a reputation as a clean driver. Skeptics claim it won't last. Yeah, that's about right for social media. That that it usually yeah, that, I, that's actually kind of realistic. Skeptics claim it won't last, and it has like a little like quote. And it's like Clay Greenfield, like he's like the only one I think that ever has an issue with me. But yeah, that's it's it's oh no, here we go. Oh no, here we go. Watch out. What does he have to say this week? You've been doing a really great job here lately. It's been a lot of fun racing with you. Why is it so bad? First of all, like the two seconds, that it's like he never held a phone before. And I stayed at social media. He has pictures, video things. It's, it, it, wow, why? Well, not only that, why did 704 just leave all that? It's like an unedited clip. I don't. It was fun racing with you as he's driving me off the track. Like, it, what a piece of shit. Is this harassment at this point? I mean, he literally goes on social media every week and gives me conflicting things where it's like great racing and it's like him driving me off the track. And then another week he's trying to... <laughs> he's got some dementia. I must say, your driving's been exceptional lately. I really want to be in your shoes because all the other drivers respect you and like to race with you. I, Anthony Alfredo, I, I love him. He... D I almost insulted him. I almost, I almost insulted him by accident. But we okay, compliment. That's good. Also, eat shit, Clay Greenfield. Make make some better videos. Uh, nice clean driving. Thank you, Ben Rose. Is that? Yeah. Did you see that finish? 
No, I didn't actually. I was, it was it was completely bullshit. And I'm sure the SJWs are gonna say I won because I'm a female. Female empowerment? I don't know. Though then again, it's I don't I, I have no idea. It's some political bullshit thing. Compliment, sure. Uh, it's ridiculous. Everybody loves. Nobody has anything. You know, except for freaking Clay Greenfield, Ben. Never raced a lot. I know I'm in the presence of greatness. Well, thank you, Austin Hill. Uh, I'm always impressed with every... I know. I, everybody just loves me so much. I get it. I'm just... No, Harrison Burton. We're not going bowling. Insult. As usual, amazing at Talladega is the best. I'm super sorry. No, we're not going fishing. Get the damn hint. Spencer Boyd. I can't think of anybody where I, see. Th I I have my limits. Nice win at Talladega, super fast and super clean. I, of all people, say something that's super clean. <laughs> Racing, it's it's not Natalie Decker, but we'll compliment her. She's trying. But yeah, that, there's that week done, and that's a lot of social media messages. Damn. So, next week is Friday. We know. Oh, Martinsville and ISM for next part. So we'll go with two top fives for three races and get that incentive contract. and That'll be fun. But we'll, uh, we'll dis uh, disable the, the bump trap stuff. And draft partners, I mean. And that'll be it. And yeah, that'll be it for this part, too. That was a hell of a part. That was a hell of a freaking race. Did, leave a like, I guess. I mean, 100. Can we go for 100 likes? Is that is that realistic expectation? I don't know, but. That was a good part. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Down Rounds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave 500 Champ 15, Alan Gray, Morris, Sports Games, Robert Dillon, Zach Page, NASCAR Number Site.org, and Bailey Carrier for a donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys. Each and every single month for your continued support, it just means a lot, and I'm always just very humbled and appreciative for your support. I'll see you all next part for the uh, penultimate finale. That doesn't even make sense, but you know what? I think we all... You, you, if you're subscribed to me, you already know going in at this point that I don't make much sense in the shit I say. But it is the penultimate race of the season. That I think that's fair. So, yeah. We have a crap ton of money and points at the moment. We're good. Obviously, we won. Harrison Burton's going to probably make the Final Four. Uh, Matt Crafton is kind of a stretch. Actually, Todd Gillen's a very far stretch. But anything can still happen. we still got two more races, so... We'll see how it goes. Usually at Martinsville, Johnny Sauter won. He won there in the spring, so I think he might have a chance there again. Who knows? But either way, that'll do it for me in this part. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.